Here we go, recording again. And give it a second. There we go. <laughs> the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which was an April Fool's game released by Sega on, well, April Fool's. But from what I've heard, it is actually pretty good. And, well, I, I just really want to know what the hell happens with it. And also it has my favorite Sonic character over here. Oh, right, the cam there we go. My mouse wasn't showing up for some reason. But yeah, we have Blaze the Cat over here, who is my favorite Sonic character. And I just realized that I never... Wait, I have turned it... Oh, apparently I've forgotten to turn off Do Not Disturb mode from last time we streamed. A.K.A. two days ago. I'm not surprised. And welcome back, Marco. Just in time for us starting with the... Ba not, not the follow-up game. And, yeah... I'm just really curious about this game. It says continue, but I've never actually started with this. I only started it up today to get it to work with OBS. So, yeah, this is going to be entirely new for me. And so, yeah, let's just yeah, see what... Hmm? What? Have you forget the introductions? Yeah, oh, right, the, <laughs> for the recording. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for people watching this separately, uh, we're starting this up because we finished up a lot earlier with Katana Zero than expected. Because, well, we finished it in 20 minutes. And, yeah, uh, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Yes, I'm Mike the Lieutenant Rokio at your service. <laughs> okay, and Marco apparently won a bet with their brother and they got ice cream. Did you win? <laughs> Did you win ice cream with the bet? I actually went to grab an ice cream uh, while Helion was starting up the game. <laughs> Only one right now. Okay, let's just start then. Let's see. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good on my first day on the job. Oh, wait, I totally forgot my name tag isn't... Uh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Okay, help. Name tag, <laughs> really? Uh, actually, the they, they're just making their own version. I was the young. Hey, is that, ain't that you? <laughs> uh, lo and behold. <laughs> uh, it, I'm presuming this isn't their actual name tag and just a post it they're putting in place. Alien, <laughs> did I spell that right? Okay, it is it clicking? I thought maybe moving things around with the ma uh, with the keys. Oh, passengers can read my scribble. <laughs> we call it out. Uh, Dining car. That is what they call Choo Choo Charles, since he dines on everything that lives. Oh, good oh. God. <laughs> uh oh, am I nervous? This is my first day on the. Is this my first day on the job, dearest? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, alien, shake it off. Yep. Alien, did I d just see you hitting yourself? Conductor. Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite all right myself. You're feeling a little... A, a, a little bit of sweet. Is that because you... Nah. Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. It's quite a career. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got her plane tickets to Spang Spagonia unlocked. Okay, I think that's I think that's a, a region in uh, Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> Like, the, that's the game where the planet gets broken up and such, and you have to visit different continents and uh, countries to, well, put it back together. I, I believe Spagonia is one of those areas. It's, well, Ita Italy. I almost said it in Dutch. Our shower's been on the fridge, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. He probably stinks a bit. Enough of white quibbles. Today is your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. 
menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should go for the menu carefully. Let's have a look. Mods Express Dining Menu, it features, features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. bleu. Chicken cordon bleu? What the hell is that? Also, uh, you have instant nice ramen dish. on... What? Yeah? It's some dish, I think I heard it before, but... Of course they have chili dog. Of course, course yeah. It. Also, they're smart enough not to not to mark the ramen as actual instant ramen. Uh, why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. That explains as well. This is very fancy looking for a place that can only afford a microwave. I think you just answered your own question. Though I'm sure a little quiz in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, okay, chicken cordon bleu, whatever that is. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Again, then, why is there only a microwave? You could at least afford an oven. Or a deep... <laughs> an air... An air fryer. I mean... I think I think you answer your own question. I think they... Spend yeah. it on everything else. Yeah, so there was only three that were able to afford remaining. Could it be? Uh, let's see, Marco. The ice cream was for my mom and the bet was separate. Well, the reward for winning the bet is my brother has to buy me something with a $30 budget. Okay. Uh, what did you bet on? Like, who could finish their chores first or something? This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. Again... <laughs> I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? Murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Okay. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I will be with you to get the tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I can't afford to lose this job. I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> uh, glad this old man can rest easy. So are, are we a temporary hire then? Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Okay, so is it going to be... Yeah. I very much doubt they would actually kill off <laughs> Sonic. So is he yeah. just going to be playing it? Wait, this train is old? It looks... Yeah, it, it looks brand new, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's... We have Amy, we have Knuckles, and... Well, I think we can all <laughs> guess who that is with the nose. Hey, yep, there's... The <laughs> Uh, Amy, why do you have a cake on your head? Okay. Uh, let's see, a bet. It was a bet on who could read three books first, since our dad says we spend too much time on our phones. <laughs> uh, and here we have Tails in a bit of a Watson-like getup. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. That, and there's Vector, uh, dressed up as... Yeah, he has an apron, the rest is just standard gear for him. <laughs> You're right, Tails, I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you will expect? You know I always go out, you know, go all out for my birthday party. Okay, that's why she has to... That still doesn't explain why the cake is on your head, Amy. <laughs> Here we have Rouge. Not rogue, as a lot of people say. You know, the color is... Uh, yeah. Rouge is a rogue, yes, but <laughs> rogue is not her name. Like, I see that misspelled a lot. Uh, uh, that, that might be, do, do, to be accidental to see, but he's like a rogue. And yeah. Rouge, basically, you can be spelled rouge to rogue easily if you look. Yeah, and it's also a color, I believe. So, but I'm guessing it's more because she is, well, a rogue. Yes, she's called red. They just shifted the G back. 
and it also matches with the color name, I think. I think. Yeah, yeah let's move on. Uh, the strangest elegant as you as are as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything though. Of course. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not catch you stealing from the train train station gift shop? Use a pen, knuckleheads. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? And it probably cost like ten bucks. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey pal, can I get one of those silly dogs? Wait, that hat. Yeah. I believe that's a Why captain's it? head. Why is it wearing a sailor hat on the train? I'm guessing they had a bit of a, a they're having a bit of a dress up for the place since well it's an event only train so uh, they at least want to dress up somewhat. Uh, uh, of course, sir. Are, are you a pirate? <laughs> no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's role to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. Girl, join me, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their tickets. Oh, okay, got it. And, okay, yeah. Uh, Oop, we can okay. scroll. I will say this, that's the route I'm familiar with. Well, I have seen clips of the American version and they... They send us to send her. Yeah, like... There's a, there's a game that came out somewhat recently-ish, I believe. I don't know exactly when it came out. It's called Victory Bells. And yeah, the, the reason I learned it came out was because Gaijin Goomba did a video on it. And yeah, apparently the American version is very is rather censored, while the European version, which I get, uh, does not. Yeah, uh, for people clarification, Rouge, Rouge, sorry, in the rest of the world, as is rather uh, curvaceous. But in America, they outright remove her bust. They make her flat. Uh. Okay, let's start from left to right. We have Knuckles dressed as a cowboy of such. Howdy, could I uh, please get your ticket? Yep, of course it's crumpled because it's Knuckles. I, I think that's a ticket. Knuckles is uh, the complete exact opposite of subtlety. <laughs> but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks okay, thank you. Seems Conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Tails? Can I get your a ticket, young'un? Yeah, that looks a lot better. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I brought my own gen uh, sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Tails is always a buddy. Yeah, like, I, I, in some games, he's been portrayed as a... Well, he, he isn't the bravest, but he isn't an outright coward like uh, he has been shown in some games. He's not less of a fighter, more of a thinker, but he's not a coward. Yeah, I should probably I say this for... I think I said this before, but... When I was growing up, there was apparently two Sonic series that released at the same time. One was very good, and one was very bad. And guess which one I was stuck with? The bad one. Yeah, on VSX and all that. It gave me very bad impression of Sonic. Then, uh, for some reason, Actually. They, they aired at the same time, but not in Sweden. Of course, uh, I... the Swedes did not apparently think it was good to air both at the same time. But when the good one started to air, it was around the time when it was time oh, to go to school. Not in there. Okay, why did it open in there? Uh, I I just mean I just I think I made a mistake. I think this game came out last year. Not uh, did I say earlier that it came out this year? I think it was. I think it was this year. For, I, 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 I only to hear about it this year. 
Okay, I, for a moment I thought this game was released for... Uh, no, even that wouldn't make sense. I, I thought this game was released for the 30th anniversary, but it's not, I believe. Uh, I think they actually missed the 30th... I, don't, I forget. Uh, uh, but yeah, to, to finish up with Tails for a bit... Uh, Sonic Forces? That, that gave a very cowardly impression of it. They actually... Uh, they, I heard they actually addressed that in the latest Sonic game, Sonic Frontiers, which I've heard only good about, mostly, like 95%. Uh, and I definitely will be playing that myself. I, I'm, I'd, consider, I'd consider myself a Sonic fan, but not a hardcore fan. I was actually born in the same year as the first Sonic game released. Uh, uh, as it is, I, I would probably be a Sonic fan if I was not, I guess I said, ended up with a bad one. Yeah. And always missing. Basically, the most thing I've ever seen of the goo one was basically the intro song. That was time to go to school. Dang it. Okay, uh, Marcus confirms. I did say that it released this year. Let me. Act I can actually check that on my phone, probably. But, yeah, um, basically, it kind of ruined Sonic for me due to mostly with the bad one. Even though it was curious of the good one that came uh, around the same time. But sadly, I, I'm not a Sonic fan, but I'm no longer a Sonic hater at least. Okay, yeah, it released this year. And uh, even though I was born in the same year as the first Sonic game released, I, my first interaction point with the series was Sonic Adventure 2 on the PC. So I, you could call me a modern Sonic fan. I have Wait. played, I've tried some of the older ones, but I never really got far with them. Uh, we had one of them on PC. Hmm. All the older ones. Hmm. Or Sonic Adventure DX. So, yeah, Sonic Adventure 1 for PC. Yeah, I'm, let's just move on before I confuse myself even more. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone in this train is normal. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Sonic. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to help someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. Okay, so does this techno tech it canonically take place after forces? I can't offer much other than my sincerest gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Fun now. It's a uh, fun now. Will do, thanks. Oh, you're up and... to the road. You really sound a little like you stuttered. <laughs> and here we have Espio, one of the Chaotix. Could we please see your tickets? Mm -hmm. Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Okay, he is gone with a bit of a Spanish swashbuckler is costume. Um, it's a he. Yeah. Earlier I thought it was a she, but now see here I've got unsure. Are you sure what the <laughs> heck they're supposed to be? Yeah, uh, they're a chameleon. Espio oh. the chameleon. Yeah, there's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. Yeah, Espio is one of the Chaotix, which was a group, or is a group, of Sonic characters who first made an appearance in their own game. Um, I forget what it, it was one of the retro ones. I forget its specific names, but I think it was Knuckles and Chaotix. And the team consisted then of uh, Vector, Espio, um, Charmy the Bee, and one one other legacy character, I forget their name at the moment. I, I think. Hmm. I think I realize why I mistook this guy for a woman. Look at the eyebrow. Uh, at the corner of the eye. Kind of gives you a. Uh, what you can mistake as an eyelash, but it's actually the eyebrow itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you consider me calming? He's looking right at me. 
I studied ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? He definitely can. <laughs> cling onto walls? What kind of person is that? I most certainly can. The doctor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Yeah, that's, SPO is a ninja. And I, I can see how a first time interaction might ex uh, confuse him uh, for a female character. Since, yeah. well, he's rather pinkish purple. Yeah, and yeah, it also looks like he has a skirt as well at first glance. <laughs> Yeah, it's again, more a tunic, similar to uh, Link and such. Yeah, and earlier again, that you could mistake the eyebrow actually giving off the eyelash when it's just an eyebrow. Yeah. And, Vector has yeah. it similarly as well, a bit. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I was glad to know he's a chameleon. I was struggling, is that supposed to be a rhino? <laughs> chameleon? No. A, I... a, a beetle or something? Yeah, I'm not aware of any specific Rhino characters in the Sonic universe. There's probably some in the comics or such, but not that I'm functionally aware of, but yeah. With uh, the actual women, the eyelashes are a lot more noticeable. Yeah. Very. <laughs> Moving on to another of the Chaotix, Vector the Crocodile. Hello, my friend. Can I get your tickets? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. It seems to be avoiding eye contact. Vector, is something amiss, sir? I seem to have um, misplaced my ticket. <laughs> Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. Uh, he's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. <laughs> yeah, Vector... Vector is the strong man of the Chaotix group, but he's not like a dumb brute or anything. He's actually pretty smart and open about everything. And I think I have a feeling where that ticket might have gone if we can interact with this thing. Hmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ilian, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure Helion only gets one of those if they ask. Hell, oh, the train has an AI. And yeah, that's SPO is male. Or you know, Marco. And uh, let's see. Even he got confused. Yeah. Let's see. I beat all the Sonic games in school. If you ask how, there was a retro game loving teacher that let us play games with him sometime during break between classes. Okay, that's that's a cool teacher. Um. It narrows its eye at us. I think that. Yep. Is it. I think this is progressing on its own. Did, did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Yep. Narrows eye. Uh, <laughs> good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Rats. Snacks look really tasty too. It looked like little cakes, but okay. I thought we could find. <laughs> I thought he might have gotten his ticket lost with the arm or something. And then we have well, Edge Lord Shadow the Hedgehog or Shadow the Hedgehog, as he's <laughs> often called. Oh, okay. No, wait, wait. Wait. Was he in the? He is supposed to be more. Black furries, but oh wait, no, he's not brown. <laughs> yeah, here, Let's give this ticket without asking. Thank you. Everything is in order. Seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh oh. Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back. I could, yeah. Grocery bag in the back, I could get for you. That's there. Uh, so cold. Alien, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, no, I I'm good. Yeah, Shadow is a bit of a loner. Uh, so he tends to get rather harsh with people. But he does overall mean well. Here we have Amy. Can I please get the birthday girl's tickets? <laughs> Why, certainly. 
Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Oh, the birthday discount really <laughs> certainly helped. Why doesn't... Uh, <laughs> who doesn't love a good bargain? Yeah, the Murder Mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to, ha uh, to have fun before she blatters her ear off. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Why dare you use this? Then unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Okay, so she got us a master key. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. This is only your first day. <laughs> what did you know about this train's tradition? Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. And then we have Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My mile, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Did you steal Vector's ticket, Rouge? Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Oh, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> Gonna have to ask, kind, uh, kindly ask for that back. Uh, yes, Rouge is a bit of a kleptomaniac. Can you see now what people mistakenly call her rogue? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Yeah, Rouge can be a bit of a mercenary at times, but she is overall friendly. Oh dear. And last but not least, we have a very regally dressed Blaze the Cat. Hey, have your ticket, please. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Yeah, Blaze the Cat is actually a princess of her own. <laughs> uh, of, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, convoluted as to where she is actually from. Like in her in the game that she originally uh, debuted in, Sonic Rush, she was from a different uh, universe. Yeah, uh, because two universes end up colli colliding in that. Uh, but in the in Sonic 06, she is from the future. So, yeah, it's always a guess as to whether you're, where she is supposed to be from, like from the future still or from the other universe. Oh, well, like, would it be if they tried to nail down a proper cannon for her then? Yeah. Yep. Uh, someone's setting off fireworks. So that is likely why my audio bar keeps moving. Can it be heard? Uh, no. I hear you stopping several times, though. Uh, so, uh, I guess it is 45 works. Yeah, I thought the mic might have been freaking out from it moving, but then I heard... <coughs> Pardon? Then I noticed the fireworks. Yeah, so far so good with the cable, so it might actually have been the cable. Yeah. Like okay, Marco can hear the fireworks. Okay, so Discord's no noise suppression manages to filter that out, but OBS is not. Huh. Here it is. A princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? Uh, okay, that explains it right now for Sonic for Blaze here. A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Okay, just don't eat uh, Amy's hat, please, Blaze. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, Princess. Is, should I bow? Do I bow before Princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Yeah, Blaze might be a princess, but she is very down to earth. Actually, she yep. prefers being down to earth because she's afraid of heights. Also. <laughs> Something about it makes me think of a Digimon. <laughs> okay. Her hair <laughs> makes me... It's, it's something I feel like I see on many Digimon. Uh, I guess I'm thinking of Beemon and Gatumon. Could be. 
strange hybrid of both. But Gatamon doesn't have hair. She looks a bit like she has it similar to Rue's. Oh, she yeah, has fur. But, the, but if you look at the Gatamon's tail or ear tips, they can have a two color pattern. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marco. No, it's really quiet, but I have a good in hearing for things that sound muffled. Okay. Um, wait. Shouldn't that be everyone? Oh, right. We, oh. There's the ticket. Huh? It's sticking out of the napkin holder. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Yeah. Last ticket. Here you go, Vec. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have... Uh, there. We just might have what you need. Alien, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? So this this game is playing a lot like uh, an Ace Attorney is game. Yeah, I, it is a, it is a point and click murder investigation, so it makes sense that it's, <laughs> it would match similarly, or sort of. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much for uh, to you. Yeah, thank, yeah, thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and that missed the murder mystery. Uh, all the alien here would have their hands full kicking you out. <laughs> You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guards? <laughs> You're both right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Uh, of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You will do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Moran's Express. So... This is, actually, this is actually a fun twist on things. It looks like instead of, uh... Yeah... We'll probably be participating in the murder mystery as well, but it looks like we're in part also responsible for the behind-the-scenes work, perhaps. Hmm. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable of their on their own. And train? Assist Hillian if they need any help, won't you? Yeah, they'll probably be in the actual behind-the-scenes work doing. That's all I need to hear. You have my thrust. <coughs> Nothing more heartwarming than the conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Hillian here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. Okay, so that's why they're all dressed up. You all look amazing. I, I, <clears throat> I thrust, uh, trust you all re yeah, read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murders and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Yeah, Amy can be a little bit bratty at times. Oh, of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship's captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Uh... No. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Well, yes, you were wrong. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Watson was still uh, assisting Sherlock, so I guess that sort of makes him like a detective as well. Uh, actually, maybe it does fit more with Sherlock's outfit. Oh, yeah, kind of does. Uh, on that, actually, uh, people think uh, people thought he always had that hat, but in his original depictions, apparently he did not have that. Uh, I forget the name of it, but that hunter-like hat. He did not originally have that. They, that was later in added on and became popular 
you know, iconography of the character. Hunter? Are you confusing a bowl hat with a hunter hat? Uh, I'm talking about Sherlock's hats. He did not wear oh. bowl hats like that. Oh. Speaking of, I, I still want one of those things. Of course you do. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Of course. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, in industry both in the cas castle casino. Wait, this place is a casino? What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and SPO, the poets, both found in the library. Butcher in a library? Okay, I'm hoping those are orange <laughs> or tomato stains then, no ketchup. <laughs> Not that the... Yeah. It makes sense that they'd make the crocodile a butcher, of course. But <laughs> Vector isn't that kind of brutal. Hey that, SPO? We get to hang out together. Where's Charmy, by the way? Did they put him up at a daycare or something? Because he's young. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mosering around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. I was listening in. I hope that's, I hope that's okay. More than the rights. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. But it reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Okay, we have the conductor's car. There's the, <clears throat> the lounge, casino, library, saloon, and the dining car second last. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay, Marco. I checked my notifications and my friend is streaming this game right now. Talk about coincidence. Okay, if we end earlier than them, we can go rate them. I beg you, Daddy. <laughs> the rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can't, uh, can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done, uh, who, uh, who'd done it. There is a bit missing there. Uh, the murderer uh, will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. How are they supposed to mingle if they're all separate, or most of them are separate? Ah, uh, this is so exciting! The mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. <laughs> oh, thrilling, I have goosebumps. Same, uh, isn't it awesome? <laughs> Amy is also uh, excitable. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. Yeah, it would have been... <laughs> It would have been rather funny if the detective was killed, and <laughs> then everyone has to just sit around with their thumbs up their asses for the rest of the game. <laughs> this way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. Yeah, let's see. Marco, I'm gonna try and guess who the murderer is. Okay, don't use anything from that stream to make like, uh, more informed guesses here, uh, Marco. Okay, I, I already know what it is. Without what? spoiling anything in front of the I just watched the game so far, I already know who it is. It's Eggman. <laughs> uh, what do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are con confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. <laughs> oh, hello. My backstory uh, is that I was best friend with a flicky that decided to join the evil <laughs> Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. 
Is that a reference to E101 Gamma? Wait, or was is it E102? Is that a reference to the damn shit for the bad Sony series? Hmm? What? In the bad Sony series, Robot they had two assistants. A drill robot and a Chicken robot. lunatic rooster. <laughs> uh, get their blasted names. But I even forgot that I only remember the bad guy's name, Robotnik. Let's see. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist, so you're Amy. <laughs> you're Amy playing Amy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that sounds kind of fun, and this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something. So this thing is a bullet train as well? What's going on? I'm slipping. Oh, hold on. I can't... Uh, no. Uh, did the train crash or did we crash? Okay. And we're... Did we just get chucked into a closet? We're both awake. Yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh, let's see. They are a little behind you, so don't worry. Okay. Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Alien, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. You might want to get rid of the bookcase first. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. <laughs> Uh, she didn't bring it with her. <laughs> uh, the, the thing with uh, Amy's Pico Pico hammer is that's the big fucking hammer that's actually bigger than her, which gives you a, a sense of how strong she actually is. Uh, but she just she just pulls it out of hammer space, which is, yeah. well, when characters pull something out of their figurative ass. Yeah. I think they, she's the one that kind of coined the term for... Her first space has been controlled for a very long time. It was around her time that kind of became an actual term, hammer space. Yeah, they might... They might... <laughs> I was about to bring it up so she might have, a, might have had a hand in naming it like that. But I think yeah. anime characters have for a long time have already been pulling hammers out of nothing in shows and such. Yeah, it just yeah. wasn't officially named until her. Like, there was, mm. there was no official name before then. Uh, I think it might have been, but just more hammers and more stuff. Uh, I think she's definitely added to it, at least. Okay, let's see. Let's start to... <clears throat> let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. Uh, it, it makes sense that Tails gets to be the detective because they're the smartest of the bunch. Technologically, mostly. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best evidence uh, that detectives have sidekicks. You know, sidekicks. Sidekicks tend to be kids, but that doesn't make them sidekids. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Oh dear. I misheard you earlier. I want to say side dish. <laughs> I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. So yeah, we've been recruited now. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. <laughs> Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Is that a thing? Nah, that's just made up. I think it might be a 
an indirect reference to one of the Sonic Adventure characters, E101 Gamma, or I think it was Gamma. I, I might have their number wrong. Uh, I think it was 101. Uh, who, well, was a robot of Eggman's who went rogue and turned good. All right. There's always not that damn mechanical rooster for the bad series. For... No. Oh, bloody. Those two drew me insane as a kid. What's this? A rod? Oh, I can see what's... <laughs> Her hammer broke. The tip is broken. It seems to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Uh. <laughs> that face! Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice in, at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Oh, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. <laughs> <laughs> we slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, as it is, sometimes people may not notice the slip is there until it's too late. Yeah, depends on the fluid, if it's colored or not. And hello there, pizza lover. How are you today? We're doing well. Hello, pizza lover. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Tails is... Tails is typically seen as sort of... Uh, Sonic's adoptive younger brother, because they, they are really close. Like, I believe Tails is like the first of his, the quote-unquote side characters that were introduced. And some people really hate it that Sonic just has so many side characters, but I personally like it. It gives a lot more I, variety. It can be I'm confusing, surprised. but still. I'm surprised people hate it, side characters? I, I think it's more the fact that there are so many that's it get I guess it makes it harder to get into the series or so where uh, people have their own reasons for stuff and such uh, let's see pizza I'm all right just about to start my second playthrough of Pokemon sword okay yep. Marco tails is my adoptive son uh, same I like it too and love tails Sherlock yeah <laughs> let's see the shelf blocking our exit it's currently not budging. Alien, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of this shelf got smashed. There's nothing this shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. I think I see what happened already. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. She already tried to break it, but she broke her hammer on it instead. This is a very sturdy shelf if it broke her Pico hammer. Oh. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook <laughs> any of this for you? Let me get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a meal cast iron pizza. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Okay, Amy. <laughs> uh, let's see. At this point, if a detective is shown in games, I always just see a Sherlock Holmes-style costume. <laughs> the hammer is in the trash can. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? Found a spoon. <laughs> if we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Uh, oh. Something's always sitting in the trash. Let's check here. I overlooked this. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do we become as optimistic as this kid? Okay, guessing it's not in there. Where, where did the hammerhead go? Let's see. Uh, okay, let's just repeat that. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? <laughs> you accuse me of my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? 
Uh, microwave the chili dog, murder the suspect, <laughs> attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Helene and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Then yeah, let, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it, me. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? The damage. Large chunk of the bookcase is missing. Odd. What? Some damage in the book uh, on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It, it fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. On a train. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? <laughs> well, you see, I... Uh, well... Hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Run. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Except for that one time he got his ass kicked and thrown into jail for a full year. Like, like an endless runner game? <laughs> I played a lot of those on my phone. There's actually a few Sonic runner games. Uh, sure, whatever works. Let's close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? Find your arguments. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thoughts and fire a combat. Like Sonic would do. Dream gear? <laughs> uh, uh, hello. So, <laughs> actually making this a mini game? Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> this is this is a lot like the old games or one of the old hmm. uh, it's a bit like a special stage from or Sonic 3D it was a bit like Sonic 3D sure the shell fell but there's nothing around the shelf to fall into you're telling me on the train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived uh, well I I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shell you, you just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit when then? There you, your Pico Pico hammer. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could you know, do this kind of damage? Hey. <laughs> also, let's just... Our na the name is just scrabbled on. Uh, okay, th this might get a bit annoying over time, so hopefully we don't have to do this too much. Uh, let's see. Uh, a turn. Oh god, this reminds me of Ace Attorney. Yeah, it's it's similar in, in the style. Yeah, this game is just <laughs> gonna be Sonic Ace Attorney. Oh, the ring sound still remind me of the OG Sonic games. I'm pretty sure that the ring sound has hardly changed since the very start. Yeah, it's iconic. It's Maybe they fixed the quality of the sound, but it's still the same sound. Could be. Fun fact, the ring sounds are always re- Okay, confirming it right there, always reused in the original Sonic games. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it was attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Ah. This is not a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit this shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh... Ah! It's as you both said. I tried to get this out, all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle snapped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She just she does look genuinely sorry about the situation. She probably also doesn't want to pay for damages. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. 
It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. You are... <laughs> you are full-time mechanic, Tails. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. There we go. Uh -oh. Alright, stand back. The shelf completely shattered, incredible. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Pizza lover. Yeah, the nostalgia. Yeah, I'm at... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Place got trashed. <clears throat> yeah, that's a pizza. Yeah, I'm not saying it's changed. It just reminds me of when I used to play Sonic. That's one weak hammer, I feel like. Fun fact two. The original Sonic games had music composed by Michael Jackson, but he didn't want credit because he didn't uh, like how it sounded. I think that's supposed to be for Sonic 3 or something that he wasn't credited for. Wait, is that? Oop. It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Uh, Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? <laughs> Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? But how do you get feel a pulse on an arm that's basically just a tube? It doesn't have any thin parts. Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Helian. What do I what do I do? Back to the conductor. Uh, yeah, we already saw this. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkable. This is not. This was not said at all. I, I was going to say this last time. There's some parts here that were not said at all, which means they must be re remarkably rich. So I leave that care to you. My favorite employee surely won't let me down on this last ride. See, I, <laughs> he, he is painting this. Our character is painting this back with their own minds. A lot. Need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Alright, there's some twist to this story. A lot of twist. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this so far. Me too. I came here skeptical. Up. <laughs> Okay, fans will know this guy, and know why he's wanted. Do you know who that is, Drakir? Not a damn idea. This is Omochao. The tutorial character for a bunch of the 3D uh, Sonic games, who people 99% of the time uh, agree on, is annoying as all fuck. So, yeah. We <laughs> it's a... Uh, that is why they're wanted. Likely wanted dead. <laughs> but they can't put that up here. Oh dear. Uh. Whoa, look at this place. Hey, Tails, where are you? Ilian, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems he's really excited. And she just can't hide it. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. Uh, how do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's in a train full of, uh, of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Mur uh, <laughs> for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. 
Well, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange places, a lot of strange spots. He's fine. So, Sonic is a cat. <laughs> He's making a lot of sense, but I can't say what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Or was that spilled drink next to him? Maybe he was poisoned or something? Uh, can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if you ever need a snack, you've got me. Fair. As I said, the best detectives are sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the Dr. Evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. That face. Uh, this is true. Ye varmints. What are ye all doing in my saloon? <laughs> He's trying so hard to stay in character. Something is going to get smashed, or has already been smashed by Knuckles getting frustrated. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me about it. Enough of that. I <laughs> wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. Uh, let's see. Pizza has no idea. Marco identified him as Omo Chow. Uh, I don't get the hate with Omo Chow. I like him. Uh, I can see it partially. Like he... In a lot of... I haven't... I think he first showed up... Hmm. Actually, I don't know when he first showed up. It might have been you know, Sonic Adventures, might have been Sonic Heroes. I know he was in Heroes. Uh, but yeah, people just find him particularly irritating. It might be that yeah, he's worse in some places. Anyways. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell you, do you? Leave me alone. He's <laughs> obviously agitated about something. Why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Then we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Let's see. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. <laughs> Another Sega game. Do we think it broke uh, when the speed uh, when the train sped up? Uh, the damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's literally in his freaking name. You don't have any knuckles. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade's attitude. Okay, we know it's very likely him, but let's look for more stuff first. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. It's, is it, each and every one of these going to be empty? Uh, let's see. Okay, first appearance, Sonic Adventures. Okay. Or Adventure. Hmm, so he was in the first game that I ever started with as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Let's see. One of these glasses has a spot on it. This is interesting. What is it? Just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there uh, three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? And this one has lipstick on the rim. Hello, red lipstick. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must have uh, been here. Um, we should look. Did Drew show up? Or is that Amy's lipstick? Hmm. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. There's nothing else here? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. <laughs> <laughs> kind of bland. Uh, seems like someone's licked all the salt off of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
your baby doll just unsalted? I should get a new bag of pe uh, peanuts. Not sure if I'll get salted or not. Like, I do not like nuts that much, but I do like peanuts. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to buy sugar nuts. Uh, let's see. Marco, can I join the VC so you don't get your vocal cord blown, cords blown out? Uh, what, you want to try voicing some of the characters, Marco? Wait, Marco? D don't you have a rather bad mic? Uh, I think you had mic issues the previous time. Did you get a new mic or something? Yeah, uh, let's check. The robotic arms here are really helpful. I can't click through this. Did it insult it or something? I keep expecting to give us the middle finger. <laughs> What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it all up. It's incredible. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a very dead eye stare there, Tails. You almost look like Tails doll. But the interesting tech. Oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? I walk in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, what? Why is the why is the train not my <laughs> is the train just not capable of microwaving for some reason? Or does it really hate the microwave? I thought I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> Please don't beat me up. No promises. <laughs> Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> Sorry, I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me, right? Uh, okay, Mike did. You did get a new mic. Did it uh, once before on a friend's stream, and it was fine. Uh, pizza. Alrighty. Since I'm playing Pokemon Sword and it's my second playthrough, would you guys perhaps like to choose my starter? Uh, you could either give me a good Pokemon for the first gym or do me. Uh, let's see. I still need to finish Sword, I believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm really behind on my Pokemon games. I let him lose yourself. I've not played Pokemon <laughs> in years. I cannot lost interest for it very fast. Uh, which one was your starter uh, in your in your first playthrough, Pizza? Yeah. Let's see. Can I take your order? Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, I'll, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, I'm like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. <laughs> Dang it. But technically, <laughs> well, we that's are. Even, that's even a word that you usually use. <laughs> uh, let's see. Marco, I haven't played Pokemon since the Game Boy once. That's real old. Uh, yes. My last one was on Game Boy Advance. Then I just dropped interest in it. Okay, uh, let me see if I can give you the role that should give you access to this team, uh, not the, to the stream voice chat. Actually, I can create an invite that gets you in. Um... Uh, wait, uh, what was your name on the Discord again? Um, uh, uh, really? It's, uh, Mark, uh, no, Pizza. Well, my first was Raboot, who is a fire soccer football rabbit. I, I choose him because I have a rabbit. Okay, um... Yeah, since you've already done them, that leaves the other two. Uh, the three starters are a fire soccer, a football rabbit, a drum playing monkey, and a crybaby water sniper. I think you just, I think you just chose your character, your starter for yourself there, Pizza. <laughs> Go with the water type. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay, if it's the uh, same as one as Twitch. Okay, uh. He is in the shadow. The server, you mean? At least, I believe. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, because, because streamer mode is on, a lot of info is hidden. So, uh, let's... It's, okay, that's not showing you... Okay, yeah, there. Uh, let's see, I, I think I'll have to give you a role to give access to this. So... Roles... And then... There. I think I should give you access to the VC now. I should actually check how the roles are set up on the server to see if they're all correctly set up. Let's see, what was the... Let's see, permissions. Admin, moderator and stream team have access to the voice chat. So you should now be able to get in. Hmm. Anyways, moving on then. Uh, let's interrogate. Knuckles, Hilly and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour uh, that Norder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, thankfully we don't uh, need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Is it? We have evidence too. We do. Yilin, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The game. The arcade machine? Ah. It makes you think I touched it. I... I... I, you, I think we... We think we did a, a bit more than just touch it. Oh dear, and... Hello there, Marco! <laughs> This takes a bit of focus. Okay. Uh, let's see, are you in the voice chat now, Marco? They all. Okay. Uh, let's. See. I don't uh, know if my microphone is good though. Okay, we can what? hear you at least, and I think it's yeah. better than last time we heard you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome aboard. Okay. <laughs> This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the, <laughs> the arcade machine because... Uh, Super Monk, no, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. <laughs> no. What evidence do you have that the images you know, are punches? The knuckles. What are you all staring at my hands for? The big freaking <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade cabinet. Arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none was available to me. Is that sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you... <laughs> I'm on it. Alien distract Knuckles by a fix super monkey ball. Bring it on, Ed. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Chat. Uh, pizza. I might be doomed then, because the first uh, gym is a grass type uh, gym. <laughs> uh, so it turns out there are no known locations for catching the three starters, so I might not get the other two after I select the tribe baby water sniper. Uh, sniper. But you'll choose it, uh, and I'm a man of my words. What's the name? Uh. Let's let's name. Do you have any ideas for a name there, Rakir? No idea. So I do suspect that you probably want to name a name that's a gender neutral name or a name fitting the gender for. I remember when I was I had a bizarre kiss that my starter Pokemon was a female. I it's believe it's... I mm. could get more of them by eggs. <laughs> yeah, I, I've typed out my answer. <laughs> Name them Pizza Boy then. I, I believe the rate at which uh, a starter can be male or female is dependent on the species itself. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of random actually. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the chat and the first thing I see, Pizza Boy Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Yeah, I, I get the feeling this is going to be a bit annoying over time, but at least they're not increasing the amount of rings we need, like, by massively or something. Yeah. <laughs> it, it sounds like they have multiple here calling in for us on a phone, like in those old uh, TV shows. <laughs> old radio shows, even. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the place part of me, but uh, Drakir on what you said earlier, as long as you can find a ditto, and I believe ditto can be found in each and every game, you can get uh, new starters, or, or uh, the first generation of your starter, since, well, dittos can mate with everything. It's, the game machine is fixed. But no, don't, don't look at the scores. Quick look at the scores. <laughs> I'm putting it up now. And oh, so other people have been busy on this. Vector got the high score by one point. <laughs> okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. <laughs> look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in a library car. That, that dead eye stare again. Hmm. <laughs> Pictures be <laughs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Uh, he's punching the air in frustration. I think you can get why he's named Knuckles now. Also, the fact that he's a knucklehead. Uh, look at his knuckles as well. Yeah. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's... It's right. Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Yeah, you're... <laughs> you're Is fumbling. Vector really a common name? Nope. There's a common name. Prove to me how. Nope. He's on this train, dumbass. Uh, you have nothing. Shield's not lovely. Yeah. Okay, so we can just try again. So what is this thing supposed to be emulating in its uh, looks? Let's see. Uh, now, Ditto, I am pretty sure, is not in Pokemon Sword. I think it's only in the Shield version. That's be weird. No, mine is wrong. Okay. I feel like Mark's voice has changed the last time I heard him. You do have a better microphone or... A new, uh, a better phone, maybe, Mark? I don't know. Okay, maybe it's just coming over clearer for some reason. Better connection, maybe. Anyways. Now, Helene, what I proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Rally, so maybe. Let's see. Used cups uh, sitting up. One is lit. How would that prove that? Uh... Investigate it a bit closer. He's in the next one over. We're supposed to be. Uh, well, every one of them would have need to pass you know, ac ac him to get to the other cards. Actually, this doesn't prove that Vector was here specifically, but there was someone else besides him and whoever left the rip lipstick stain. No. I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in a murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... Um, it's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Uh, don't... Don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. So as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade yeah, the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, and alibi. I really told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What of the cup with the lipstick mark? 
Rouge was in here too. <laughs> Wait. Looks more like she has purple lipstick. No, it's inconsequential. Lipstick. Like, it's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Noxious, that one. Well, you offered a, a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Who need to relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector vis visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That don't make sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. And then can you take a look at it one more time? Not name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Let's yeah. see, we have Vector, we have Knuckles, we have Toast, toast Apple, Bread, Ultim, Bagel, and Candy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why does that, those look like a shopping list? Uh, let's see. Uh, toast. This is different. Hmm? What? Only Ultim seems different to me. And all of the other ones are food, but this one isn't. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Alien, but there is someone here that goes by the title, the ultimate life form. And that's Shadow. But there's someone really here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. Very busy place, apparently. So Shadow is here too? <laughs> he thought, taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then uh, fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. We all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Key? Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. It's the honest truth. Why did you want the door locked, Shadow? So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Yeah, she has the master key. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Uh, uh, probably not... Probably more what didn't happen, like, he probably got fucking bored. Why is Shadow locking doors? What was Root searching for? Hmm. Root was searching for money. Yeah, of course. I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. <laughs> You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get here, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. <laughs> I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Well do, Sheriff. Come on, Elin. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Elin, coming. Okay. I, uh, wait. How do you lock these? You could crawl underneath them. <laughs> Ready to mosey down to the next car? <laughs> you got it, partner. Onwards. Uh. You <laughs> hang in there? Also, the conductor on the... F the f of course, there's a tilted... Pr is that supposed to be the the, the basic a, character from the forces? From. Hmm? hmm? Yeah, who asks? Uh, oh, pizza. pizza. If you don't mind me asking. 
Where are you guys from? Oh, from Pizza Lover. Uh, I'm from Sweden. Yeah, I'm from the Netherlands. And Mark is where from Mark's from. <laughs> and where are you from then, uh, Pizza? So let's see, Pizza's one my first India. battle. Okay. And, oh, that's the stream timer. So let's finish up this dialogue. Let's see. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Okay, cleaning out inventory, always nice when that happens. So we, you, for, the, for stuff you don't need. Hmm. Some old adventure games let you carry stuff around that you don't ever get to use, ever. So that just clutters everything up. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. Uh, you've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espino wants to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet, thank you. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh, have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help for the birthday girl. Yeah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. <laughs> This tip is just too spot uh, too, yeah, too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around, all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But how how are you going to how are you gonna leave? The, the door to the next car is locked. No, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Now, of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Uh, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm a detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. <laughs> Starve, that kill for a chicken Parmesan right now. Or Parmesan thing. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meats. I'm Espio the Poet. Yeah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives as the most rhythmic of prose. In prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 dee dee dee. Nobody said he was actually a good poet. Also, our. Are these design are these chow designs you can get in the adventure games? Because there's the chow garden where the chow we you can grow yes, grow you, you, the chows from the games. Yeah. Uh you can the chow you can gather there can change their appearance depending on things you do uh, and give them. And these might be yeah, things they can turn into. Tails is not impressed. Was that it? I have more if you like. If <laughs> cherry it's, blossoms uh, in the spring. Yeah, who's the croc? Uh, who's, that's uh, Vector the Crocodile. He is one of the Chaotics, along with uh, Espio the Chameleon. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Elena and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? No, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow and Sonic all passed through this library car. Okay, but how did he end up from all the way up front to back here? Where Amy told me and SPO to stay. I promptly picked the book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. <laughs> Not even denying it. Yup. Where was Ruse? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon, in a car. Ruse came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after, we heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found? She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car, picked up, uh, picked and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? 
Shadow walks through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up <laughs> at Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walks through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. So he could have actually gone to the dining car. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were, we were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Aspio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. <laughs> if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. I think we'll stay away from the both of them. <laughs> Welcome back, uh, Pizza. Uh, in case you missed when we said it, uh, the croc is v Vector the Crocodile, one of the Chaotics. Thanks, guys. The alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. Yeah, Espio was here for a while on his own, so he could have gone anywhere. Plus, he's a ninja. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. It's all tasks, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Okay, well, I feel and like Espio is a reference it. to Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Aspio has been around longer than Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so, no. Okay, let's put up a Maybe save. Assassin's Creed were inspired by Vespio? Espio, I mean. <laughs> Vespio. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Like, he only appeared in one game, and the next time he appeared was in Sonic Heroes. It's actually where I encountered him. Oh, but, yeah. I Let's uh, quit the game there. And you had someone in mind to raid, Mark? It's in Avoya. Let's see. I'll Can you? Yeah, yeah, that'll help. Let's see. And yeah, we're ending pizza. Uh, we ran shorts with. Uh, okay, Zeno Avoya. We ran shorts with Katana Zero, and I had this one planned for tonight. So we'll have to find something else to put up there this time. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Well, it was fun chatting with you. Hope to see you all soon. Okay, and they're just at the same spot. And they're checking the trash bin. Okay. Let's copy that name. Put it in here. And the slash raid and paste. And, yeah. <clears throat> uh, before we go, second stream tonight in about you know, a bit under three hours. And, of course, streams tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Mark. And, of course, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. <clears throat> and, and I just see a name pop up in the join, with the join message on the chatty program that I use. Hello, Sensei. We're just ending up. We're just closing up. So, But thank you for showing up all the same. And, uh, yeah uh definitely enjoying this game so far don't expect to, it to last too long but that is why i have backups installed at all times or backup games installed at all times but yeah for now <laughs> um yeah let's start that raids uh, okay not blocked and yeah thank you all again for watching until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone and watch out for zombie seagulls